implant choice. As you guys all know, we use uh, Blue Sky Bio. You are not required at all to use Blue Sky Bio, but the reason why we chose this is because you know financially they're not expensive. Two is the connection. We love the connection. It's uh, not only is it a hex, an internal hex, it is also a Morse taper. So the Morse taper is the most important part about why we chose this is because it's a bacterial seal and uh, also it retains the abutment inside the implant body more so than the actual hex connection. I've read some things about not even needing the hex. You can shave the hex off if you need because this 45 degree Morse taper that locks the abutment in, not only is it bacteriostatic, but even if you don't align, align your timings down all the way or you're doing an implant bridge or anything like that, you can even shave your hex off, put it in, it's gonna, it's gonna be stable for years and years. That Morse taper it has no basically indexes of where it's spherical, almost kind of like the concept of Bicon implants. So they've you know they've perfected the Morse taper. This combines the Morse taper theory with the internal hex theory, and also the plat platform switching. So affordable, nice connection, and it's seamless integration of their software. That's pretty much the only reason we use it. Also, they just released a new line. It's the Blue Sky Bio Forte. We had some issues with primary stability of getting uh, implants, especially in the maxilla for full large stuff. Um, if you guys are familiar with the Strom and they have the BLX line with the really ag aggressive threads, the Blue Sky Bio kind of try to replicate that. So it's the same shape as the Max, except the threads on it are way more engaging and aggressive. So we've had a lot of luck with loading with that on the maxillary arch. Even mandibular, if you're doing immediate implants. Um, 